There are three stages of real estate investing. That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Let's dive in. Hey there, everyone. I'm Clayton Morris. Welcome back for another video on real estate investing. We're devoted on this channel to talking about buy and hold real estate for the purposes of creating passive income. That's what we're all about. We're not talking about flipping houses. We're not talking about other strategies, creating passive income. I'm the president and founder of Morris Invest. We're a turnkey rental company. So I've done, rehabbed hundreds and hundreds of homes and I'm a longtime real estate investor and I own many, many dozens of properties myself. Today, we're gonna to talk about the three stages of real estate investing. Now, this really is the guiding principle for everything that I do in my personal portfolio. If there are no other videos that perhaps you pay attention to on my channel, I really want you to take this video to heart, perhaps as the most important video that you ever watch on real estate investing. Why? Because it really reframes, I think, the, our approach to buying rental properties. Most people, when they get started in rental investing, they think, I want the cash flow. I want the immediate cash flow, right? That's why we do it. Well, if you are in your 70s, maybe. But if you're in your 30s or 40s or 50s, there's a different way to look at real estate investing. So cash flow, of course, is ultimately the goal, right? We want passive income from tenants living in our property. So cash coming into us monthly with us having to do no work. <laughs> That's the dream, right? Our properties are producing cash flow every month. But there are a few steps ahead of that that are more important. And rich people know this. People who are clawing their way up the ladder typically don't understand this. And that's what today's video is all about. The three stages of real estate investing. So stage one is not cash flow. Stage one is buy. So I'm going to walk through the three. Buy, own, and cash flow. Stage one is buy real estate. Now, we're buying off market. We're buying discounted properties. We're buying in order to increase our net worth. This is what the rich understand about real estate investing, is that when you buy a $40,000 home, but it's worth 55, you've now added $55,000 to your net worth. Build a spreadsheet and add up, what are all of your assets that you own? Cash on hand, real estate that you own, and then what are your liabilities? The car that you just paid for, which we all know the value of a car, right? Liabilities, right? The boat that you have, the debt that you have. What is your net worth? Is your net worth higher than your liability column? And the goal is to increase this and decrease this over time. Adding that $55,000 valued house to your net worth, now you, now you bought that property you've increased your net worth. We're not worried about the cash flow just yet. When you're young, we want to buy properties first. So I like to think of it this way, and it really comes from the Gary Keller model, the millionaire real estate investor model. His model is buy a million, own a million, cash flow a million. So our goal is to, in the first few stages, buy a million or buy as many rental properties as we can using leverage, using cash out refinances, using a home equity line of credit, whatever it is, as long as we're buying properties and adding to our net worth, we're not worried about the cash flow just yet. Buy a million, buy as many pieces of real estate as you can in order to grow your net worth. Then once we own them, sorry, now then we pay them off, right? So we've got leverage on those properties, we're using private money, we're using some other form factor to buy that property. Great. Once those are paid off, then we own the properties. Okay, now we own them. Maybe it takes you a few years to get to the owning piece where you fully own them and you don't have mortgages on these properties anymore. Now we get to enjoy the benefits of the cash flow. So buy a million, own a million once it's paid down, and then cash flow a million. Now I wanna break this apart a little bit further because you might be saying, great, well, if I buy a million, am I, well, you know, will the rent cover that? Because I don't, I can't afford that. How am I gonna do all this? Great, so his theory, and I've talked about this in some other videos where we talk about return on investment and we talk about how to buy a rental property. 
but I'll give you it in broad strokes, that you want to make sure when you're buying your properties that all of your expenses are being met and covered by the cash flow of that property. So if your expenses on buying this particular property amount to $500 a month, that includes taxes, insurance, and you're building in uh, your safety net for repairs and expenses uh, and vacancies, and that comes to $500 a month, you want to make sure that your rent exceeds that number by, according to Gary Keller, $1. So you owe 500 a month on this one property that you acquired. Everything being considered, expenses, vacancies, all of that in that one, and the mortgage note, $500. Well, you better be make sure that you're cash flowing $501. Yes, you're only making a dollar, but your net worth is now increased by 55,000 because you bought this house. And the tenant is paying down that property. So you're increasing your overall net worth with every monthly payment. You follow me? So I like to be a little bit more of a cushion than $1. So if you owe $500 a month on this property, wouldn't it be nice that the rent coming in is $700 so that, all, that you're getting $200 above that or even $100 above when you consider everything, vacancy, repairs, expenses, and your mortgage note and all of those things, everything. Be super conservative in that number. Just make sure that the cash flow exceeds that. Now imagine that's just one property. What if you had 30 properties just like that? Where yes, you're cash flowing a little bit above what you owe, but you've increased your net worth by hundreds of thousands of dollars. So now let's go back to that spreadsheet and let's think about that your net worth column being exploded and your liabilities you know, will go up because you have a bit of a mortgage, but it's gonna be far higher than your liabilities column. Now on paper, you're worth this amount. If you reach that million dollars, you're worth this amount. And then over time, it's going to do, 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 do. Your liabilities are going to drop down. So we want to buy a million dollars worth of property. And then we want to own. Now, once those are paid down, now we fully own it. Hala, we got it. Now we cash flow. So it's hard to sometimes think about these in reverse order. But that's the beauty of this methodology is that it, we're, the cash flow is there all along, but now we, at the end of it, we get to fully enjoy that cash flow towards the end of the process. And then we can rinse and repeat. You know, we can pull that money back out, we can go buy more properties, and we increase our overall net worth. So those are the three stages of real estate investing, the buy, own, and cash flow. And just remember that smart real estate investors buy properties until they die. Why? Because now if we're over here with all of that cash flow coming in and no more purchasing of real estate, this is all income now, right? And we have to then go to the tax man, the IRS, and we have to pay this as tax money. Um, this is income now. All of that cash flow without us buying more properties to offset this, now we're paying a lot more in taxes because this is all income. So that's why smart real estate investors will continue to buy properties, always adding to their net worth, and the cash flow is coming in, it's being offset by the purchase of those additional properties. Buy, own, and cash flow. The three stages of real estate investing. If you have any questions or if this was confusing in any kind of way, please leave some comments below this video. I'm happy to answer them for you. I love the feedback, so thank you for all of your great questions. And we have tons of great videos here on the channel. So explore, go through, and, and learn about real estate investing, all of the strategies and tactics that we use every day. You can watch that on the channel. And please don't forget to subscribe. Just click the little button right here, the little subscribe bubble, and uh, we publish videos multiple times a week. So we would love to be a part of your life and publish great real estate investing strategies and tactics to make you a real estate investor. I'm Clayton Morris. We'll see you back here next time, everyone. Have a great one.